All right. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this, or at least how I have it in my mind. A lot of people think getting firewood's like any other thing. I get I get comments on Facebook like, you know, uh, how hard could it be? Well, this is not high-line logging. This is a three-quarter ton pickup. Nathan, look at the truck real quick. Show him the truck. It's a three-quarter ton pickup with a, an old Army flatbed on it. And we're using cables and shiv blocks. This is old school. This is old school falling of a huge tree. What we're going to do is we're setting the first shiv up to that tree, the shiv block, up to that tree about five or six feet in the air. Then we're going to set the second shiv block right up to that metal frame of my truck. And that's two shivs. That gives me about four times the pulling power of, of a normal pull. Then we're going to anchor that second shiv to the base of that pine tree right there. And follow me. Here's what we're going to hook the end of the cable to as I fall this tree, and this is not recommended. Everybody will tell you don't do this, but I've been doing it for years, and that's the tree we're pulling out. That tree right there, look at the burn marks on it back in there. That's an old tamarack that was burnt during the 1910 fire. Parts of it are obviously rotten. Parts of it, I think, are thick and solid as a brick. And there's only one way to find out, and that's to cut the tree down. So, it begins. Part of this tree, as always, part of these trees, you can see the burn marks on it, which means that it was burnt in the 1910 fire. It's the only old growth trees remaining, or I should say stobs. I call them stobs. This one's probably, I don't know, 50, 60 feet tall. And I cut this, this face cut two years ago and then backed out because I thought, I'm not ready for this tree. <laughs> but I've cut several since. I think I'm ready for it. However, Stumpy's going to be pulling the final part of this as I cut through it the rest of the way, and this is the first time he's driven the beast. So any number of variables could go wrong, but I will be on the right side of this tree. If anything snaps, I should be out of harm's way. But this is solid, solid, solid wood. There's going to be parts of it that are rotten. There's going to be parts of it that I believe are going to be perfect. And if it's not, it is the best firewood within 500 miles of here. So, here we go. <laughs> All right, Stump. set the, the cable to the shivs. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting this thing about waist high, which really burns my arms right now because I'm an old man. <laughs> but this here tree belongs to me. <laughs> Wait, this is how I know this is not a pine. It's a tamarack. And because it's burnt, there is some really good wood in this thing. But now the, the tricky and the hard part. Pulling this thing as I fall it. Look at the, show the top of it. It's kind of rotten. I have to be aware of that as well because it could fall backwards. And I need a place to go and I do not have far to run. So again, I'm in God's hands and this is not the wisest thing anybody could ever do. If 
somebody comes, you're just going to have to stop them and say, give us just a minute. Then listen to me. Then when, you, when you pull it tight, I'm going to want you to shut it off. The whole truck? Yes. Okay, so hold on. Or sit there with your foot on the brake and the clutch. But I'm going to do some more cutting. Then I'm going to shut the truck off, I mean the chainsaw off. And say, okay, now pull. And when you do, just keep constant tension. Don't spin, don't hop, just keep tension on it until you feel yourself move at all. Then start giving it gas. Okay? But the first time, um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to be cutting some more through it. But I want this taut just in case it starts to fall. If it does, I'm going to scream, GO! Just like that. No, I'm going to say, <laughs> GO FOR IT! So there's three words. All right? Okay. First, get on that side of the road and see how tight you can get this. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't have to keep your foot on the brake, I think. Actually, go ahead and give it a little gas. But for now, just sit there. Nathan? Yes, sir. If anybody comes by, you're just going to have to stop them. I will. And I want you on that side of the cable. I will. I got some cutting to do. All right. God be with you. It's about noon. You hear the sound of a chainsaw in the background. The musky odor of the elk is potent, almost palpable. Yeah. Okay, I got one. Hold on a sec. Yeah, you want me to just relay everything you say to hit, to stump? Hey, stump, more pressure. More. More pressure. He says, no, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Keep pressure on it. You might want to do a little less brake. I'm not doing any brake. Oh, that's funny. Tons of pressure, my friend. Now, man, it's rocking. The tree is moving. Keep pressure. Okay, it's moving towards you. I hear breaking, it's coming. More pressure, get out. That scared me.
called high mountain wood, high mountain timber, and it fools even lumberjacks. Oh, you alright? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So that's gonna happen to me then. <laughs> Part of it's yellow. And look how much I still didn't cut. I couldn't get to it. I just saw. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Because I still was on the outside of this bark. This shit wouldn't let me get close enough. Uh -huh. But that's all that was left. And look, I did a damn good job here. You're right. I should have given a shit. My main problem is I couldn't. I couldn't see the tree. All I could judge by were the cables. Well, what and he killed it. Is when you start you, moving. I killed it. A you, he killed it at the well, very like it's hard right as soon it's as it was going. You got to get it at a certain point and keep, keep your foot at a certain point. Just, but just uh, the line between spinning your tires and killing it. Yeah. There's a line there. Huh. That's interesting. I, walk in the line. There's so much more to this than meets the eye. Uh, yeah, yeah. There really is. For example, the top part of this tree, we're going to leave it shivved right to where it's at and pull it around that tree right there. Well, people, people would say, you can't do that. You what? Yep. Or don't tell I was them. Gonna add, I was just about to add it. And then say, Here we go. I think we need it under. Tell them we think. Let us redo it and put the cable under it. Back up. Let me redo it real quick. We're gonna put the cable under it and see if that makes too big of a difference. If it does, back to home. Right. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. I was actually, I don't know why I didn't tell you to do that because I, yes. I had it in my. Oh, yeah, this is tabletop. <laughs> yes, it is. So is the one down below, and I want to try to grab it right now. Okay. Cutting this thing about waist high, which really burns my arms right now because I'm an old man. <laughs> but this hand tree belongs to me. 